What is going on guys? Today we got another video on the DIY how to fix things in your truck or trailer. And uh, unfortunately it's kind of cold today. But sometimes you just gotta do things that you can. And um, right now I am setting up this box so that I can lay floor because it's very snowy and I don't want to be laying just like that because then I might get sick so uh, let me open up this box and uh, we uh, show you what we've got going on today all right so today we got this uh, I forgot what's it called but this part here it's the um, the part that releases the pins on the tandems you press you pull this pin and it retracts the that pin right there you can see it retracts them inside so you can slide your tandems and that's retracted by this airbag that runs from both sides so it started leaking somewhere in, around here and uh, they didn't have this part. So I had a hard time trying to get it from the dealer. So I actually found it on eBay and I'm actually, I got it uh, yesterday, Friday, and I'm happy that it came with the fittings. So I thought I was gonna have to take them out from there, but should be easy and simple. So all we gotta do is remove that cotter pin from there, that cotter pin from over there, remove both of these airlines and we'll just swap in the new one and uh, I'm just gonna use my cutters because I forgot my regular pliers for the cutter pin open and branch because I'm sure I have it here but it's too cold to be looking for the actual open and wrench but this is my setup right now because it's cold but yeah let me get to it and uh, we'll see you in a bit try and record because my GoPro battery is dead so what you want to do is no yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna need both of my hands because I don't want to snap this or break this I don't even think I was showing you guys okay so I already removed both of the hoses and it's too cold to try and remove that uh, compression fitting from the hose so I'm just gonna leave the old ones in there because like I said, it's too cold to be dealing with it right now. So I'm okay with leaving the old um, coupling. I'm sure it's gonna be okay because you know, the leak was not from there. It was from somewhere in here uh, that was leaking. So it's gonna be all right. All right, and I got this first pin out of here see that came out so what it is is just the clevis type you know with this uh, cotter pin so you just pull the cotter pin out remove the washer and then this uh, clevis you know you just gotta I, I use this uh, chisel to put it in the hole and then it just came out so I'm gonna do the same thing on on this side and it should come out Okay, I did the same thing on that one. That one was a little stuck in there, so I used my best friend, the hammer. Hammer it out. Well, my phone turned off, so I wasn't able to record some of the process, but here it is. I got it connected already, and uh, looks good. Here's the old one, like I said. But let me go and um, well, I don't know if we got enough air right now built up, but let's try. No, no air yet, but I will definitely check it out. And I'm dropping the trailer off Monday because the guy that I don't know if you guys saw in the previous video, he welded a small piece there and it messed up, broke off the whole piece. Better get that fixed too. 
just airing up the uh, trailer and the truck. I heard some air in the back, so I think we got enough air now to uh, pull the pin release. Let's see. Oh yeah, there he goes. I don't hear a leak anymore. No more leaks. And that should fix the uh, problem we were having with the tandem not sliding because it was losing air and then we'll pull back in. Hope you guys like the video. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Gotta go get warmed up.